What is going on folks? Today, Risa and myself are going to be doing a short dive. Um, we really like doing short dives just because it's super relaxed. We kind of just drive around, find a place that we really like, see if the conditions are looking good or not. And once we're happy with it, we just get our gears on, climb down to the water or walk down to the water um, and get in. Once you're in the water, it's not like you have a boat to do anything or go anywhere else, so you're kind of committed to the spot, which creates a really relaxed environment because you're not really re rushed to go anywhere else. So you're pretty chill, sitting on the surface, doing nice breathe ups, um, just doing your whole up and down techniques. So Reese is down while I'm up uh, for most of the day anyway. We're going to be looking for lionfish and hopefully snappers. We know. We've been in this spot before, um, we know there's a huge cave that lies just a couple hundred feet off the shore and we both know that lionfish love to hang out there so we're going to be targeting snapper hopefully. If we don't get any snappers we know the lionfish are there and we're super pumped to catch some lionfish because we have our little pole spare and uh, yeah it's going to be fun catching them. As soon as we jumped in the water, it took us a couple seconds to get our cameras sorted out, just make sure we have the right angle and so forth. It takes a couple of minutes normally. Uh, once that was sorted, we took a dive down just to see what the area was looking like. And our, literally in 12 feet of water, 10 feet of water, on our first drop, we ran into a, a school of barracudas five maybe six of them which is pretty cool just to see as soon as we hit the water Barracuda wasn't really a targeted species, so we headed off into deeper water in search of snappers and whatever else we could find. On the way to the cave, we dropped down in like a, a sand channel, and they had a stingray that was hanging out, covered out in sand, and uh, we dove down to take a closer look and check it out. After we had a little fun with the stingray, we headed out to the cave to see if they had any bigger fish and also in search of those lionfish. I entered the cave from one side and unfortunately no big fish were there. But I did see some nice lionfish. Reese came in from the other end and uh, you can see his perspective here. As soon as I came out, they had a nice button snapper that swam in front of me and you can see me uh, following it. And then the perspective where I got shot. Stoned it, good shot. 
shots. We are meet the part of the dinner table later. <laughs> After we tied up the mutton snapper, we realized that the pole spare that we brought is a three-piece pole spare and two of the three pieces are missing and they were there when we jumped in the water. So we had to search for our lost pieces, which I believe Ray saw because he clearly didn't tighten it enough. On the way back to the cave, we found a little arc that's like probably like 25 feet of water. And uh, as we drove down, there are a couple of barracudas there that were pretty curious. But again, it's not the species we're looking for, so we just took a little sightseeing.
after that it was my turn. I headed down to the cave. Uh, I actually found a couple Spanish lobsters. They are not the Caribbean spiny lobsters, so don't get confused. This is not a juvenile lobster, it's a full grown Spanish lobster. They do not get big. Um, in my personal opinion, they taste better than the spiny, um, our normal Caribbean spiny lobster. I'm actually allergic to shellfish, but I can eat small amounts. And uh, yeah, so I get to taste it from time to time. So I picked up this one. And we caught like two or three others. After that I went down and I got a lionfish. And then we got several more lionfish till our group or our fishing line was full. Once the line was full, it was time to head back to the shore. We had quite a few fish at this point in time and didn't want to spend too much time in the water, wanted to get them on ice, so I headed back to the shore. And while I was on the way back to the shore, Reese actually went off into the deep. He didn't have his camera on, but he did shoot a nice kingfish. Check it out. Update one king mackerel for Reese, one mutton snapper for me, and a whole lot of big lionfish. We are going well, I am going for ice because we don't want to leave the fish in the water too long. Um, so we just came in quick to get some ice, and I am going for ice in a full wetsuit, which is kind of strange. Um, I'm sure the people in the store would think it's strange too. Well, we need to get that ice and we have enough fish to eat so what we will probably do is put the fish on ice, jump back in the water and do some sightseeing and see if we get some cool stuff for you guys to look at. If we come across something good to shoot, we may shoot it. Um, probably won't just because we have enough food. Um, if we do shoot something, uh, we'll probably keep it for the people that we're staying with. Um, just as a gift for allowing us to stay by their house. So let's go. Once we got that lionfish, we decided to head back in. 
on the way in they had some pretty huge caves that lead to these tidal pools and uh, we just swam through a few to explore them, they were pretty cool. Nice man. Body Mount Urban. Fish market. Are you gonna see what they have? Feeling kinda hungry boy. Feeling some or some exotics. Some lionfish. Something like that. Huh? And more than more than all they have fish? Yeah. I'm looking for lionfish. Yeah, what? Well yeah. Well yeah, playing around. Lions. Let me start to clean. that we were missing. Picked up some eggs, potatoes, some dry seasoning, headed back to the house and uh, I was just gonna fry the fish. So what I did is just took a bunch of flour and different dry seasonings, black pepper, salt, garlic powder, onion powder and just put it in a bowl. Um, that was just batter for the fish. Dipped it in the eggs, dipped it in the butter and we fried it up. Line, so white, so. It's the best meat, or? Yeah. Best meat. Watch, what's that? Put that in the pot one time. Ready to fry up there, fellas. But that should be a little terrible tree type, bro. That's all it's gonna be. We tell the game. That's everything. That's everything. Uh, I'm glad I have that recorded. I'm not gonna play the rest! I hope you don't know one of those uh, wet things. No. Turn it up. You know, dry one off. No. Dry one? Yeah. I think my. Not dry off. Why should it not dry? 
So I don't have uh, any video or pictures of the end result. I think we were too hungry to remember <laughs> to do a video. We were like, just finish the food and the whole house just had a feast. And then once that was done, Reese and myself kind of like, um, we forgot to film the end result. But it tasted great. Lionfish is definitely one of my favorite fish to eat. If you haven't tried it, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, super soft, super white meat. It's definitely not a fish you want to pass. And also they are an invasive species. So you are helping the environment one when you catch them. And I recommend you go out and catch as much as you can and eat as much as you can. There's a whole ton of them and they take it over. So please go and help Trinidad and Tobago and kill the lionfish and eat them and share with friends. So that's what we did. And you guys should go out and do the same thing. And until the next time, catch you later.